Hey Gemini, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for Friday, March 12th through Sunday, March 14th. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Okay, those of you who play my yes or no game, um, we have the Ace of Swords that's come out in the first position. For those of you new to the channel, I use the Ace of Swords in the first or the final two positions as a yes or no. Yes, if it's in the upright, no, if it's in the reverse. So if you came into the reading with a yes or no question in mind, this is your chance to have that question answered by spirit. If you would like to pause the video and come up with a question, feel free to do so now. I'll reveal the card now. We have a yes. So we have the Ace of Swords in the upright. If you don't care to play that yes or no game, don't worry. There is a tarot uh, interpretation here for you. It means clarity, truth, uh, understanding. It's a very positive card. The feeling that comes along with it is... Um, a lightening of energy like if you felt like heavy energy like energy energetically pulled down this is like oh the the dark cloud is lifting I feel lighter I feel more open what's the challenge here for Gemini They want me to say it, it's a clear head. You're gonna feel very clear headed. Um, something might crystallize, like a, a concept might crystallize in your mind. Something that's been swirling around for a while, bits and pieces of ideas is gonna to start to come together and make sense as a whole. Show me the challenge, please. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's waiting. Waiting without a guarantee. So there's, there's something that you're let's say hopeful for hopeful not might not be a hundred percent on point there's a chance that something is going to lead somewhere there's a chance that so, there you're, you're going to see a result through some investment or some action that you've taken but at the moment there's nothing more you can do but wait And it has to do with this conviction or this clarity that you have. Your focus is on the lovers reversed. Someone that you would really, you long to be with this person. Mm. The lovers card is uh, the Gemini card in the tarot. One of the Gemini cards. So you might feel a bit... Um, turned upside down through this realization, this clarity. I think it has to do with the clarity about this person or about the situation. And what you're focused on right now is not being able to be with them for whatever reason. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. So that bodes well for potential um, new start here. In the recent past, we have the Empress reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, this may be your person, um, or it could be you. I feel like it's someone who's focused on their finances, focused on building a legacy, focused on uh, fulfilling their potential. The reversal of the Empress tells me that this is someone who feels like they have not been fulfilling their potential and they want to be. And then that Ten of Pentacles is like, 
I want to be living a life of abundance. I want to step up my game. I want to fulfill my potential so that I can start living the life that I want to live. Um, the reversal could be you or them um, choosing not to pursue that, like hesitant to move forward and fulfill their potential and go after abundance. It could also be if you had envisioned um, building a life with this person that you're not with at the moment, this could be you reflecting on them and feeling like um, they're out of reach, like the life that you want with this person is out of reach. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Gemini's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. There could be a change in your work situation. Sorry, there's, there's some sort of really unusual energy connected to this. I'm just trying to tap in better for you guys. It's not about power. It's not about control. It's not about money. Grounded. They're talking about grounding energy. I'm going to ask Spirit a few questions here, so bear with me. Spirit, are you saying that they need to, like, you, you want them to recognize that they need to be grounded? That's part of it. There's, there's more to it than that, but... Um, Okay, the thread I'm picking up on here is that um, if you guys are familiar with what being grounded means, um, it's not like uh, when a child gets grounded and can't leave the house. It's like um, feeling stable, feeling like you're in the spiritual community. The, the sense is that your spiritual energy is connected to the earth and therefore stabilized. And when you are disconnected from that energy, it can feel very um, confusing, uh, aimless, without purpose. Like not knowing where things are headed. And, and that's the energy that I'm picking up on here is um, spirits trying to nudge you to ground yourself. If you're curious to learn more about that, there's a lot of information online. Um, you can Google grounding techniques or search on YouTube for, for grounding. Um, eating healthy, walking in nature, playing with pets. These are all grounding things that are, are quite accessible to a lot of people. But there's much, much more out there that's available in terms of grounding techniques. Show me the near future for Gemini. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So we're really continuing a, a reversal of pentacles here. Um, I'm also getting that you would like to I 
I think work is occupying a lot of your time and attention, and you'd like to mix that up. You'd like to be more balanced in terms of how much time you spend on work, how much time you spend on your personal life. You'd like more personal life stuff. I feel this that you're kind of like uh, pulling your energy away from your work life. Not in a sense of wanting to quit or anything, just in like needing balance. The Nine of Pentacles is also talking about having, having enough money to satisfy your own desires, but then the reversal is like, yeah, but I'm only getting to spend this money on myself. A little bit of like money doesn't buy happiness. I'm also seeing a continuation of, uh, I think we might be also picking up your on your person's energy. If this is representing your person um, working on themselves and building a future for themselves, in the near future, they could show up caring less about their material abundance and more about a connection with you. Show me surprise energy for Gemini. Eight of Swords reversed. Side benefit of this clarity is that the thoughts that have been swirling around that you couldn't really piece together, um, that's going to dissipate. That energy that's connected to that, the, the confusion or the spiraling or the, um, like, overwhelm of thoughts this is what i was picking up on earlier but you're going to feel so much lighter mentally just clearer give me more on the eight of swords tell me what brings about this clarity high priestess um, the High Priestess is a spiritual connection. And we have a, a couple indicators of the Divine Feminine, Twin Flame, Soulmate type energy here. Um, so I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a connection with your person in the psychic or astral realm. Also quite likely a, a connection to your own spirit guides, to your own higher self, your intuition becoming stronger, bringing you peace of mind and clarity of thought. Oh, and that might be the subject that you get clearer on. Spirituality or a, a facet of spirituality. Your hopes and fears, we have the Four of Wands reversed. You don't want to be disappointed again. Um, this is not even wanting to set a goal or an expectation for fear of it not materializing. Like, I don't know if I can get my hopes up. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for my Geminis? Ace of Wands reversed. You're going to hang back and see if they come to you. I think the, the desire is there, but you're not acting on it. And spirit isn't advising you to. 
they're not not advising you to, but it's it's like a neutral, just. Likelihood, just a neutral likelihood that you uh, you're gonna hang back and wait for them to come to you. This patience that you're having difficulty waiting to see if it goes anywhere. The Ace of Wands showing up is a confirmation that you still desire them. The reversal is saying it's something you're going to keep to yourself. Show me advice for Gemini. Strength. Don't let this shake you up either way. Whether you reach out to them, whether you don't. Whether they reach out to you, whether they don't. Spirit wants you to be an island, wants you to be um, like solid and, well, strong, but like in... Spirit wants you to do your best to be fine no matter what. That's the vibe I'm getting off of strength. It's like spirit is supporting you through this, strengthening you, but it's more about the feeling that you have inside as you're experiencing this. They want you to just be peaceful about it all. And here's the other Gemini card at the bottom of the deck to close out your reading, the Page of Swords, which is for those of you who feel like reaching out to the person, this is saying communicate. Page of Swords is the messenger. You have your clarity. If there's something on your mind that you want to communicate, maybe you don't have to act, but you could talk, perhaps. Gemini, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday. Bye.